everyone, it's Katie, and today we're going to learn a finger-picking version of Good Riddance by Green Day. This is what the play-along sounds like. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go. The charts in the description box below are free, as well as a whole list of my other finger-picking tutorials from A to Z. Yep, that's all free, but please consider supporting me on Patreon, it really helps keep this channel going. When you hit subscribe, make sure that you hit the bell so that you never miss another video. So the chords in this song are simple, but this also has a very nice syncopated strumming pattern, and you're going to switch between your finger-picking and your strumming pattern. So if you're looking for something to just kind of level up, this may be the one for you. First, let's start with the chords. We have a G chord, so finger number three is going to be on the third fret of the E string. Then fingers one and two will be on the second fret of the C and the A string. For a C chord, I'm going to place finger number three, place that on the third fret of the A string. A D, I like to place all three fingers in a row like this across the second fret of the, excuse me, G. C and the E string. I've seen played this way, barred this way, just do whatever D is best for you. I like all three in a row. We also need an E minor. Looks like stairs. Do, 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 do. So fingers one, two, and three will be in frets two, three, and four of the A, E, and the C string. Now for the finger picking portion of the song, what I've done is that I have strung my ukulele with a low G because I want the low G to be pronounced when I'm finger picking the, the G chord. So uh, if you don't have a low G, I think it would sound just fine. It's just, I want you to know that I have a low G strung on my ukulele. So first let's find a G chord with my left hand. And then on my right hand, I am going to assign my thumb these two strings, the G and the C string, and then finger number one, is going to be assigned to the E string, and finger number two will be assigned to the A string. So we have thumb, thumb, pointer, middle. So it, these fingers are going to be assigned to these specific strings, so they're never going to move. So for the G chord, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pluck the G string twice. So it'll be thumb, thumb, then I have middle, pointer, thumb, middle. So first we have the G string, thumb, thumb, middle finger here on the A string, pointer, E string, then my thumb moves down to the C string, then I pluck the E string again. So I have thumb twice, so I'm going to be plucking with my thumb twice. Thumb, thumb, middle, pointer, thumb, middle. Again, thumb, thumb, middle, pointer, thumb, middle. So in rhythm, there is a tie. So I have one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now for the C chord, we have the same rhythm, but instead of plucking the G string twice, we are going to be plucking the C string twice. So I have a C chord, I moved from my G to my C, and I pluck the C string twice. Then I pluck the A string, E string, C string, then E string. So we have thumb, thumb, middle, pointer, thumb, middle. Now we find a D chord. I'm going to use the same finger picking pattern that I did for the C chord. So my thumb will play the C string twice, then the A string, E string, C string, then the E string. Thumb, thumb, middle, pointer, thumb, middle. So let's try that from the G chord very slowly. So my thumb is going to play that G string twice first. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and C chord, thumb, thumb, middle, pointer, thumb, middle, D chord, thumb, thumb, middle, pointer, thumb, middle. Let's try that again. Two, three, four, thumb, thumb, middle, pointer, thumb, middle, thumb, thumb, middle, pointer, thumb, middle, C chord, 
chord. That's the intro and the verse. Once we get to the second part of the song, we have an E minor. So with our E minor, we're going to use the exact same finger picking pattern that we did for the C and the D chords. So my thumb is going to play the C string twice. I'm holding an E minor right here with my left hand. So I play the C string twice with my thumb. Now middle, pointer, thumb, middle. All right, D, thumb, thumb, middle, pointer, thumb, middle. C chord, thumb, thumb, middle, pointer, thumb, middle. G, thumb, thumb, middle, pointer, thumb, middle. So let's try that again, E minor. Thumb, thumb, middle, pointer, thumb, middle, D. Thumb, thumb, middle, pointer, thumb, middle, C. Thumb, thumb, middle, pointer, thumb, middle, C chord. Thumb, thumb, middle, pointer, thumb, middle. Let's do that again, E minor. D chord. G. Now when we get to there's something unpredictable but in the end there's right, we switch from an E minor to a G. But we're going to use the same finger picking pattern we did for the E minor and the G. So E minor, thumb starts on the C string. Thumb, thumb, middle, pointer, thumb, middle, G. Now my thumb moves to the G string. Thumb, thumb, middle, pointer, thumb, middle, E minor. Thumb, thumb, middle, pointer, thumb, middle, G. E minor. And then we have a D. And then we go back to the G finger picking part, or you can start strumming. Now, what I'm doing is that I'm switching to strumming. I'm switching to a strumming pattern. Now, if you're a beginner, I suggest that you strum down one, two, three, four, or down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now, this other syncopated strumming pattern that I'm using, there's lots and lots of syncopation, lots of ties, but this is what I hear in the track. Down, 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 up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, 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 down, up. Now, this strumming pattern is worth eight counts or two measures. So if we are going to switch between our chords, especially if we have a chord only for one measure and then it switches over, I'm gonna show you how to do that because it's going to be on the off beat or on the and. We'll get to that. So first, let's start with our G. And let's break the strumming pattern down into chunks because I think that's the best way to do it. <laughs> so first, let's find a G chord, and we are going to strum down, 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 up, down. So try that with me, here we go. Down, 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 up, down. Try it with me again, here we go. Down, 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 up, down. Now this next portion, if you look, you see that there are four upstrokes. They're all on the and. <laughs> so it'll be down, 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 up, down, up, 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 up. <laughs> Let's try it. One, two, three, four. Down, 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 up, down, up, 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 up. So the counts would be one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and now we're going to add that and, for and, at the end. So we have down, 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 up, down, up, 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 down, up. Let's try it again with a G. One, two, three, here we go. Down, 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 up, down, up, 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 down, up. So again, that's equal to two measures. Now if I want to switch between because when we switch between our C and our D, that's only one measure for each chord. So how do we do that? We have to switch on the offbeat, so on one of the upstrokes, and I'll show you how to do that. So we have a C, it will be down, 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 up, down. On the next upstroke, find that next chord, and then you have your series of four upstrokes. 
so do you see how we split that strumming pattern into two parts? But instead of having the D on the on beat or on, uh, I mean on the down beat, then your D is on the off beat, it's on the and. So let's try our C. Down, 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 up, down, D, up. Let's try that again. C, two, three, four. Down, 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 up, down, D, up, 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 down, up. Let's try that whole thing together. We have our G. Down, 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 up, down, up, up, up. Here we go. Down, 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 up, down, up, 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 C. Down, 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 up, down, up, 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 G. Down, 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 up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, up, up. Up, down, up. Now this strumming pattern, I'm going to show you how to work with that when we get to the E minor because we will have to do something very similar to what we did with switching between our C chord and our D chord. So here's E minor. Down, 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 up, down, up, up, up. Here we go. Down, 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 up, D, up, 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 C chord. Down, 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 up, down, up, up, up. E minor, down, 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 up, down, up, 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 C chord, down, 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 up, down, up, 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 E minor, down, 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 up, G, up, E minor, down, 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 up, G, up, E minor, down, 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 up, back to the intro. So if you listen to the track, it's really fast. In the play along, it is not that fast. I've actually slowed it down so that you'd be able to finger pick um, or you know switch between your finger picking and your strumming at, at a pace that is just a little bit more manageable. At least in my opinion it is. If it's still too fast, I made a video on how to slow down or speed up any YouTube video. So I'm gonna put that in the cards above and the description box below just so that you could slow it down or even speed up the play along to a pace that is just more manageable for you. Okay, play along, that's next. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go so make the best of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable but in the end there's right I hope you have the time of your life this lesson I have similar lessons just like this one I'm going to put that in the cards all around me and I will see you in the next one bye I'm gonna use an old piece of sheet music spit out my gum because I'm classy <laughs> all right